Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is password cracking. And we're gonna go ahead and generate some passwords, so I'll show you guys how to do that. And if you're doing it for a CTF, if you're doing it for a penetration test, or if you're just doing it for fun, we're gonna learn how to generate these hashes and then go ahead and crack them. So let's jump into the video and have some fun. If we open up a browser, what I did, I just put like hash generator on Google, and I came over to this site, all hash generator. So say for example, if you're doing like an, you know, a pen test and you capture an LTLMV2 hash with like Responder, for an example, you'll take that hash and you'll run it through Hashcat to see if you can crack it against a word list that, you know, maybe rockyou.txt or whatever word list that you generate, right? So I just want to put it out there. Obviously, this is for demonstration purposes. Yes, I do have a word list that we're going to generate the password with obviously for time's sake and for educational sake. So please don't be stupid and put things in the comments. I've gotten so many comments on like the Wi-Fi one. Oh, that's not real world. Yes, it is. If you guys go get a real word list or you generate a word list and you spray that against a PCAP file that you, you know, capture in a four-way handshake, I do it all the time, right? But I'm not going to demonstrate on assignments or on engagements that, you know, so... Anyhow, I just want to get that out of the way because I get some stupid comments and you guys are idiots. So if I do an LS and I do a uh, Pat Rock U, uh, you know, Pat Rock U, so the Rock U.txt, I make my own. So if I just do Pat Rock U.txt, I have, you know, a little word list here, right? So if we come in here and for an example, I put I love hacking 2024, right? Right here. So you got, whoops, 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 I don't know what I just did. All right, so let's try that again. So, well, let's just do this. Let's do this. And uh, let's grep uh, I love, right? So I love you is in here and I love hacking 2024. So I'm going to go ahead and generate, I am just going to copy this. I can generate anything from within, but I'm just going to do this one because, you know, we'll have some fun. So now I'm going to take that and come down here and put this word in the list to generate hashes, right? So if we calculate hashes here, we see all the hashes that were generated with this password. For an example, I love hacking 2024, right? So we have L, uh, NTLM, we have MD4, MD2, MD5, all these kinds of hashes. So if you're creating like a CTF, Maybe you'll take one of these hashes, we'll create that, we'll put that as like a little decoy or we'll have someone crack that in order to get a password for maybe a login or something like that. So this is why I said in the beginning, it can be for a CTF, a real engagement, or just you, you know your own research on the internet, you found the hash and you wanna have fun with it, right? So before we actually create the hash, so say for example, you came across this MD5 hash, right? And this is what we have. We don't have the actual password yet, right? So if we come back up here and we put hash identifier. So if we don't know what kind of hash it is, we can go online or we can just use hash identifier to identify the hash. So if we paste this here, whoops, let me go ahead and paste that there. Here it is. And now we can see some least possible hashes, but the possible hash, the number one, is an MD5 hash because that's what it is, right? We just demonstrated that. I just wanted to, you know, throw that in here because that's another way to find out some hashes. But, you know, you can always do whatever way makes you feel comfortable. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make a file. So say, I'm going to go ahead and just do nano. I'll make this uh, MD5. I'll just make it MD5 hash.txt, okay? And now I'll just throw that hash inside of nano, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now we should have two files here. We have the MD5 hash and then the uh, Pat Rock U, right? So now what we wanna do, if we have a MD5 hash, right? So now what we can do is do hash cat. If we do hash cat and we don't know what mode it is. So we can do MD5, let's come all the way back up here md5 or hashcat dash dash help pipe grep md5 right 
So this is all the possible MD5 hashes. So you can see here raw hash. This is pretty much what we have here, just a raw hash, right? So that's gonna be the mode zero, right? Then we have half MD5, HCAT, et cetera, et cetera. So you guys can go through this, and if you got one from an ASA, if you got one from Apache, uh, MS Office, blah, 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 you guys get the gist, right? So now we have a hash and we have our password list that we want to crack, uh, crack it with, right? So now let's go ahead and have some fun. So now we can do, this is where we can do hashcat dash zero or dash M zero for the mode. And my, uh, my hash is within that md5 hash.txt and then the password list that i want to use is patrocku.txt and then hit enter and let it go okay so what i'm going to do because i already did this i was i was testing something and that was there so if we do dash dash show it's right here i love hacking so just to you know obviously showcase the tool i want to go ahead and use a different hash okay so let's go ahead and just put, I love you. Okay, I love you. Let's do that, generate this hash. We're gonna do the MD5 again. So, because I know I love you is in there because we saw that earlier, right? So let's go ahead and just do that. Let's do nano, if I can spell, nano MD5 hash. And then I wanna go ahead and delete this. And I wanna go ahead and put the I love you one. Okay, and then here we go, hit yes, and then hit the up arrow, and we'll do that once again, okay? We'll let that cook, and it was cracked that quick, right? So we can see that it was cracked right here, and the password is I love you. So that was super quick, and if you, you know, because it goes into your pot file, you can do dash dash show, right? And now you can see the file that was cracked right there. So that pretty much sums up how to crack hash files. And if you ever want to do your own little CTF and stuff like that, the, the site that I found it on was uh, browsingling.com slash tools slash all hyphen hashes. And that's about it. It was super easy. And any kind of hash that you get, you can run through the same process. We just did it quick with an MD5 hash just to demonstrate the process. So if you guys found this informative, you know, please leave a comment in the description or leave a comment in the comments below. I always say description, but yeah, thank you so much for checking it out. And until next time, have an awesome day.